major, um, but then projects is what we really do look at uh, after that. So we really look at the projects, not necessarily a GPA or anything like that for our company. We want to see if you've had uh, work outside of the classroom. So if you've had previous internships, um, and if you haven't, that's totally fine. But even if you've built a project in your free time. Just Extracurricular projects, are they involved in any hackathons, side projects, GitHub links? I always look for like things that really shows that they're passionate about software engineering or just technology in general. Most relevant and important experiences at top. So if you're a student, definitely having school at the top. So school, um, classes that you've taken, your graduation year and, and what your major is. And then from there, I would do internships. I mean, I go from the top down. So I look at the very top. So I would say if that there's a role that you are applying for to make sure that the skills that you have and the experience that you have that's relatable is definitely at the top of it and then going down. Start pretty broad and then narrow in to the specifics of your experience. Uh, I'd really recommend uh, zeroing in on those one or two things that really make you unique or stand out. Be sure to include those things and always wrap up by relating it back to your interest in the company or the position. Think more about the soft skills, what you're really good at that could transfer to the job you're looking at. Um, and also just practice saying it out loud. But get right to the point, what they're looking for and specifically what their three main um, areas that they, they want to do for a firm, like how they want to add their value and then knock out, knock out those three points right away. Why am I here? What do I want to get out of this? This is the type of job that I want and this is the reason why I'm fit for that role. Be like really energetic and positive. Um, these are long days for everybody so I think the more energy and like excitement you have like that shows. And then just having like a 30 second pitch prepared on like what school you go to, like what your focus areas and interests have been and like what you're looking for and what your ideal role would be. To be prepared, um, do some research on the companies that they know they want to target when they go to a career fair. So when they walk up, they, are, they can act like they're educated, that they already know something about the company and reasons why that company fits their profile and what they're looking for. I would say definitely ask if you can connect on LinkedIn with the people you're talking with. That's a great way to follow up versus just email because typically uh, recruiters get tons and tons of emails after these events. A lot of times they will send us a LinkedIn invite. Um, those are usually the ones I think that are going above and beyond to stay in contact with us. There's a lot of people that you meet here, right? And make sure that you remember about whatever you said at that point and whatever was said to you. And then you follow up with them and then say like, hey, I know this is what we talked about and then kind of remind them of that that conversation. student, keep an open mind for companies you're looking at. So we've all heard of the big brand names and those companies can be fantastic, but don't forget about more of the mid-sized companies and smaller companies too, because they may be able to offer you something with a lot of growth opportunity, um, maybe to work on a few different projects at once. So you might get almost a better experience even at a smaller company. So it's not always about brand recognition when you're looking for your first job. I always love it when individuals know what company that they're speaking to and are able to recognize and ask really good questions. Take advantage. Step out of your company comfort zone. Uh, definitely do your research before you get to the career fair so you know what companies are there, you know what companies you want to target, and you know where their, their booths are. Remember that even if it's not your immediate next job, it could be your third or fourth job down the line. And so to remember to maintain those relationships.